question 5.6 we're going to design a second order low pass Chebyshev, Chebyshev filter with uh, 1 dB pass band ripple okay we have pass band ripple and that means this Chebyshev filter is type 1 uh, the pass band ripple is 1 dB that means uh, well 1 dB is actually equals 20 times log of AP to the base of 10 and that means AP equals 10 to the power of 1 over 20 and if you calculate this 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 almost equals 1.5 12. Well, this is the first step when we're going to design this such a filter. In the second step, we should calculate the control ripple factor, and that's epsilon equals APM square root of AP squared minus 1, and this equals square root of 1.12 minus 1. Sorry, square root of 1.12 uh, squared minus 1, and this almost equals 0 0.504. Right? So, this is the second step, and the third step is the transfer function. Um, the general form of the transfer function. For a second order type 1 Chebyshev filter is like this uh, 1 over 2 times epsilon let me write it this way 1 over 2 times epsilon uh, over s over omega c which is cutoff frequency squared plus square root of square root of 1 plus 1 over epsilon squared minus 1 uh, minus 1 times s over omega c yeah. and plus square root of 1 plus epsilon squared divided by 2 times epsilon okay. um, yeah this is the general form of the transfer function so we need to replace uh, epsilon here and also omega c and if you check here you see that the cutoff frequency uh, or fc is 2 hertz 20 hertz that means the angular cutoff frequency is 40 times pi radian per second okay so let me replace the things in the next uh, slide I will copy paste uh, this part So here H S is one over two times zero point five point four. I think you then can do the rest. Okay, so S over omega C squared plus square root of square root of one plus one over zero point five oh four squared. Um, minus 1 times s over so let me instead of omega c we can directly write 40 times pi so we have 40 times pi and plus square root of 1 plus 0 0.504 squared divided by 2 times 0 0.5 times 4 
So that means h of s um, equals, um, if you do the calculation, you get something like 0 0.99 in the denominator. And in the denominator, we get s over 40 times pi squared plus 1.1054s uh, plus 1.1154. And that's all. Well, you can check the numbers, but that's actually the way we should solve this question. So this is the end of this question 5.6.